I overheard uh, my friend, the nurse, Christine, talking about how she and the other nurses had to make a little contribution to a gentleman who couldn't afford the medication or the food that he needed. Food is actually part of your medical treatment. It is essentially your, part of your medicine. So when you have to take pain medication on a certain schedule, it's the same thought process with food. Food provides comfort, it provides strength, it is a tie that binds. Dr. Kennedy told us in all sincerity that there were patients who literally passed away because they didn't have the proper nutrition after having chemo. And if they had had it, and if they had had someone to talk to and help them plan their meals, they would have survived, he felt. One of the top things, you know, if you had a wish list, what is it? It's like, well, could we have a nutritionist at the cancer center? Can we have a nutritionist? So it's, a, it's truly a dream come true. Yeah. Time and time again, research has shown that having nutrition support throughout cancer treatment has the best outcomes, the best quality of life. Well, I coordinate drivers and patients to take them to the treatments and back. Actually, my surgeon gave me the name of the uh, the ACS program, the American Cancer Society program, to use to get back and forth, and it's been a godsend. I really bless them every day because they're just, uh, you know, they've shown up. I mean, it was for the chemotherapy, it was either once every two weeks or once a week. For the radiation, it was daily. Most of them are alone. There's very little public transportation here on the Cape, and there's just a huge need here. Had a friend who suggested Road to Recovery and went to Falmouth Hospital and had orientation and immediately fell in love with it. And I've been doing it ever since. It was an answer to my, uh, my dilemma of having to go regularly to Hyannis in the wintertime. The Road to Recovery needs to have financial support because of the other services Road to Recovery does. It's not just volunteers doing this, but it is people that need a cat or they need to have a hotel for the night because there wasn't availability to pick them up. Road to Recovery does more than just drive patients. The fine individuals involved with planning of the yearly gala has determined that I am um, des um, deserving of this recognition mainly probably because I'm an advocate for my patients and I try to t treat every individual as if they were a family member. Uh, we're very honored to be um, honored in this way, uh, particularly coming from the historical background of my dad supporting American Cancer uh, Society prior to his illness and then throughout his illness. Not only are we raising a lot of money, we're raising the hope that we will live I want to live, I love life, and I want everyone around me that's had cancer to know how much I'm alive because of all the donations. Being such a strong supporter of the Cape Cod Healthcare and American Cancer Society over the years, we've really seen programs develop um, and come alive, I guess if you want to call it, um, and come to fruition. So it's really kind of nice to see the money that you are going to provide tonight is going to go to a very local place. It's going to go to your neighbor. It's going to go to your friend. It's and very important. It's so, so important because as we saw with our dad uh, through his treatment, um, it, it's nice to see what you've given come, come full circle.